There may be times when you want to add to your document canvas, so there's more room to add elements like text or images to your design. You can do that by using the Canvas Size command, which we'll look at in this lesson. If you're following along, you can use this image from the practice files for this tutorial or an image of your own. To add to the canvas around this image, I'll go up to the Image menu, where there's a Canvas Size command right below the Image Size command. Now just to keep these two straight, the Image Size command, which we looked at in another video in this tutorial, works differently than the Canvas Size command. Unlike Image Size, Canvas Size doesn't change the size of your actual photos or other artwork or images in a composition. It just lets you add space around those items. So let's select Canvas Size. And that opens the Canvas Size dialog. At the top of this dialog, you can see the width and height of this image in inches. And down here, you can add to the width of the canvas or add to the height of the canvas or both. And those fields are set to inches by default also. But when you're preparing an image for online use rather than for print, it makes more sense to change this unit of measurement to pixels because that's the way we measure and talk about the size of images on screen, as you learned earlier in this tutorial. So I'm going to change either one of these menus from inches to pixels and the other menu changes too. If you know the total width in pixels that you want the image to be after expanding the canvas, you could type that number here in the width field. But it's often easier to just tell Photoshop how many pixels to add to the canvas without worrying about what the total will be. To do that, come down here and click the relative checkbox. That sets the number in the width and height fields to zero. And now I can type in the number of pixels that I want to add to the canvas. So let's say that I want to add 400 pixels to the width of the canvas. I'll type 400 here. If I wanted to add to the height of the canvas, I could do that too. I'm just going to leave that at zero for now. And then I'll click OK to apply that. And out in the document window, you can see that Photoshop added canvas to both the left and the right sides of this photo. What it did was split the 400 pixels of extra width that I asked it for into 200 pixels on the right and 200 pixels over here on the left. Well, what if I wanted to add canvas to just one side of this image, let's say over here to the right side? That's done slightly differently. So let's undo what we've done so far and try that instead. I'll press Command Z on the Mac, Control Z on a PC to undo. And I'll go back to the image menu and choose canvas size again. The first thing I'm going to do here is to check that the width and height fields are still set to pixels, and they're not they've reverted to the default inches. So again, I'll change those menus to pixels. And I'll double check that relative is checked. As I said, I want the added canvas to appear just on the right side of this image. To do that, I'll go down to this anchor diagram, and I'm going to click on the middle box on the left side of this diagram. What that does is tell Photoshop to pin or anchor the image to the left side of the canvas and put the extra canvas to its right. So now I'm going to go up to the width field and I'm going to type in the number of pixels that I want to add to the right side of this image. Let's add 800 pixels. And click OK. And that's exactly the effect that I wanted. You probably noticed that so far my canvas extensions have all been white, but you can control the color of your canvas extension here in the canvas size dialog using the canvas extension color menu here. By the way, if you're working on another image and you're not on a special background layer as we are in this image, then your canvas extension color menu will be unavailable and the canvas that you add will be transparent. It will appear like a gray and white checkerboard in Photoshop. I'm just going to click Cancel. And if I want to save this image, I'll go to the File menu and I'll choose Save As so I don't save over my original. So that's how you can add space to your document canvas so you have some extra room to add more image elements.